right guys, as promised, we have the brand new 2022 Land Cruiser LC300 GR Sport, the Gazooks Racing Sport. Okay, this is King Panda for Luxury Cars Manila. Welcome back to the channel. Like I said, we bring you guys the rarest cars and the best experience because we actually take you on an experience. Para maramdaman nyo kung paano mamaneho at may experience ang mga ganitong sasakyan. Para pagbibilhin nyo, tawag lang kayo. We can ship it to you anywhere in the Philippines. So this is the 2022 GR Sport. Ano? Now, sinasabi nila what's the difference between this and yung mga regular na Land Cruiser. Initially, nung first time kung siya nag-drive, nung first time nag-drive ko yung ZX at saka yung VXR and VX and GXR as well, sabi ko, paano maja-justify ang diprensya na tatlong milyon? Pareho naman sila Land Cruiser, right? But after driving this car, and it's not because I'm trying to sell you the truck, the truck's already sold, I can tell you with all honesty na it's a world of difference. First of all, the suspension is totally different, which we will discuss later on, but let's go over the exterior details. Bakit siya talagang magkakaiba? First and foremost, the grill. This is the iconic Land Cruiser grill. If you look at the old BJ40s, ano, dito nag-umpisa ang grill ng Land Cruiser. And the GR Sport is the only trim model in the LC300 universe na ganito ang grill. It has the GR badging. It has that black grill with the Toyota sign in front. 18-inch light TRD alloy wheels. It has the new GR Stripe, which really accents the car very well, ano? with the pearl white exterior. Ang ganda ng combination niya ng stripe. Normally, dati, pag nag-stripe sila, usually gold and black, gold and silver. This time, they went black and red. The GR Sport badging, which is black and red. Black trim. As you can see, they went away with all the chrome. Majority ng mga Land Cruiser, di ba? Yung mga higher-end models, puro chrome trim. Dito sa GR Sport, wala na siyang chrome trim. You have the contrasting fender guards, the fender extensions. You have the accented black bumper trim. Normally, ang mga Land Cruisers, they have a body color or chrome na door handles. This time, they went with black to complete the whole blacked out, you know, black uh, sporty look. You have the 70th anniversary badging, which is a little different than what you see on the other 70th anniversary badging sa mga Land Cruisers. It has the black shadow badging, ano? And you also have the black Land Cruiser, the blacked out badging for Land Cruiser. Now, one thing that sets apart, one way you guys can know that it's a GCC spec, which is a Middle East spec, versus a European spec, is you look at the rear. Pag meron siyang third row seat, normally GCC spec yan, because in Australia and in Europe, they don't allow the third row seat. So you can tell that this is a fully loaded version because meron siyang push button. Normally, sa lower-end models ng LC300, you have a manual third-row seat na you have to adjust. You still have enough ample room for some luggage, but majority of the time, you have emergency seating pag kailangan nyo ng isa kayo mga bata dito sa likod. But one of the best features of the LC300 is actually the third-row seat. Kahit ako, kasya sa likod. Normally, yung ibang third row seats, LC200, jump seat lang, hirap pumupo. They finally figured it out for the LC300. So, here you have... Pagtapos na kayong gamitin yung back seat, you can actually fold it down. And... You have cargo space again. So guys, we come to the best part of this experience which is we get to drive the car so let's take it out on a test drive this is 
not your run-of-the-mill LC300. This is actually a GR Sport, Gazooks Racing Sport. Now, in the LC200, well, let's go back with the LC200s. Back in the day with the LC200s, marami tayo na bumibili at sinesetup natin, ginagawang off-road, no? Maraming ganun eh. So, in the last few years, Toyota has been developing this LC300 and has decided to segment the off-road series versus the luxury consumer series, you know. So, hence, we came out, uh, no, we didn't come out, but Toyota came out with a GR Sport. Now, what's different about this GR Sport? One of the things that's different about the GR Sport is its suspension. Ang maganda dito is if you guys are familiar with the KDSS suspension, ano, the kinetic suspension, Toyota took it a step further and came up with this EKDSS, wherein even the sway bars are electronically controlled. Now, what does that mean? So, let's say you're going into a corner. Mabilis ka, papasok ka sa corner. The car knows whether to stiffen the left front, right rear, right front, uh, left front, right rear, or left rear. So, alam niyang i-balance yung sasakyan to the point na hindi mo nararamdaman yung lubak because the body itself is stable. Only the suspension is moving. That's the main difference of EKDSS, no? So, you know, I've, I've driven the VXR, the 3.5 liter gasoline twin turbo VXR. I've driven the ZX na 3.3 liter twin turbo diesel. I've also driven the 4 liter naturally aspirated gasoline engine na imported. And I've driven this GR uh, Sport. In, in the beginning, hindi ko siya ma-justify yung presyo eh. Um, you know, you're looking at black market price ng ZX around 7.5, 7.8. And then you have this, uh, the GR Sport, which runs around 10.5 million. Ano? Uh, initially, I couldn't justify the price. But after driving this for several days, I've come to realize that Toyota has really done its homework. And Toyota has really figured out what they want out of this car and was able to achieve it. The suspension is by far more superior than all the other models combined. Huh? Um, even the ZX na medyo fully loaded, even the top of the line uh, VXR, ang layo talaga ng suspension. Um, when you go into the different modes, you can really feel the difference in dampening. So I think uh, Gazooks Racing, Racing has been able to convey that in this car. Now, the amenities inside the car, obviously, it's the same as a VXR. You have the perforated leather seats, obviously ventilated. You have heated and ventilated seats. You have your 13-inch monitor. You have all the amenities that you want out of a uh, luxury SUV. So, hindi ka talo pagdating sa options. And to add to that, this is a very capable SUV when it comes to taking it off-road. Um, although a lot of people who are going to spend 10.5 million pesos will probably never ever see dirt in this car. Diba? Kasi sino loko-loko nung babayad ng 10.5 million tapos eh dadali nila sa sapa tatakbo sila na 50 or 60 kilometers per hour. Diba? Although I have a friend who did that and sabi niya sa akin, pare, 
worth it yung GR Sport and he ended up buying three units para sa family because they just love doing it and they have the money to do it. So, um, they've done an amazing job with this car. The interior, you have the GR logo on every single place that will remind you that this is not a regular Land Cruiser. On top of the iconic grill that Toyota, you know, all Toyota Land Cruisers had back then. The BJ40 had the big Toyota sign in front. I mean, if you look at the Tundra as well, if you go to the TRD Pro side, naka Toyota siya sa harap. So that's very iconic for Toyota. Um, this car boasts a 14 speaker JBL sound system, which is the first time I've ever liked a sound system na stock sa Land Cruiser because way back then, LC80, LC100, LC200, the sound system absolutely sucked. I mean, it sucked, it sucked donkey balls. Ang sama talaga. Uh, even the JBL sound system on the LC200 was like sasakit tenga mo sa kakakalansing eh. But this car and the LC300 for some reason Toyota has finally figured out the acoustics on the car. Um, all the GR Sport come all the GR Sport models come with black and red uh, red and black leather interior like I said perforated uh, seating surfaces, uh, ventilated and cooling front and rear seats. Um, the air conditioning in the back is digital. You know, that's one of the things that I think, guys, you have to remember. Yung mga nagpaparating dito, sasabihin sa inyo, VX yung, yung binibenta sa inyo. But pay close attention to the second row seat. When you look at the air conditioning controls from the second row seat, if it's not a push button control, if it's a toggle switch, it's a GXR or a GX. So it's never a VX. Okay? All right. So who is this vehicle for? Sa presyo niya sa 10.5 million, obviously it's not for somebody who's regular, you know, day worker or office worker. This is for somebody who has pretty high net worth. This is somebody who knows what they want. This is for somebody who actually wants something different in their stable no? of vehicles. Uh, this is for somebody who is an enthusiast. Because uh, there's There's the person who just wants to have it because it's different, and the other person who wants to have it because of its off-road capability. So, but obviously this is for someone who has the means to spend the amount of money required to buy this car. You know, wag po tayo mag-hate. Kasi lahat ng kotse may market po yan. May kanya-kanya pong market. So, unfortunately, this car with its high, high entry-level price is for the person who has kind of made it in life. Okay? I think the reason why Toyota decided to segment the market, ano, if you, if you notice, you know, every single model, yung Yaris, they came out with a GR series, which is yung pang racing nila, high performance. Uh, even the Altis came out with a GR series. Even the Camry has a GR series. Um, the Hilux has a GR series. The Tundra has a TRD Pro. Uh, you have those different segments now. Kasi Toyota has figured out na there's a big market for modified cars and there's nothing better than having a factory authorized or factory developed um, modified vehicle you know a lot of these uh, a lot of these technologies that that basically are adapted to like this car the GR uh, stems from Toyota's racing division you know, between TRD and GR, you know, their their participation in the Baja series in Mexico, the race, uh, their Pari Dakar series. Uh, so a lot of that research that Toyota gets 
from the data, the raw data, that the feedback that they get from the drivers, from the racing experience, all trickles down to the consumer segment. And Toyota has realized that let's reward our clients and give them something that we've really worked hard for. And that's why I'm very excited about this car. And that's why I'm very excited about car companies nowadays because they've come to realize that hindi hula tayo ginagamit lang yung koche from A to B. You know, we're all we we have a lot of enthusiasts in this world, and it's very prevalent in what Toyota did to this GR Sport. So I think that's a reason why they segmented out the off-road side on this vehicle so that hindi nakalikutin yung koche <laughs> at saka factory na talaga. Although, you know, a lot of us are still gonna make kalikot on the car, no? Kasi nasa human nature natin yan. But, uh, you know, as much as possible, Toyota wants it to be the way that they produced it. I'm calling all Land Cruiser enthusiasts, those guys who've never driven the 300, you know, the LC200 owners. I'm an LC200 owner. I went from an LC80 to an LC100 to an LC200. I've driven them all. Um, even the LC70 series. This is a totally different uh, SUV, I'm going to tell you. And I urge you guys that the guys who have the means to buy it, for once in your life, buy it and experience it. This is a totally different SUV, um, very off-road capable, very in tune with what it intends to be. Um, very different from the LC200. I would say it's more comfortable. And at, at the end of the day, it's for you to judge. But uh, if you're coming from an LC200, you'll be pleasantly surprised with all the advancements that Toyota was able to jam into this car. So again, guys, this is the uh, 2022 Toyota Land Cruiser LC300 GR Sport, the Gazooks Racing Sport, a very limited version of the Toyota Land Cruiser because it's friggin' expensive, but I honestly think it's well worth it. Um, it's probably Toyota's best Land Cruiser ever built so far, huh? I think, in my opinion lang, it's the best Land Cruiser Toyota's ever built, this GR series. It's not for everyone, but for the person who has the means to buy it, I think this is, this is it. So guys, girls, uh, please give us a call. Uh, we have these cars available, the, the GR series, the GR Sport Land Cruiser, uh, we have several more units coming in in different colors. Uh, please give us a call. It's 0917-463-0077 or 0998-933-3883. And uh, hope we can make a deal. Thanks, guys. All right, guys and girls, thank you very much for watching our videos. Please don't forget to subscribe here on our YouTube channel. As we give away more prizes, we will be choosing more and more winners for our giveaways from our sponsors, from everyone that comments on our videos. And please tell us how we're doing and tell us what you want to see on the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Again, this is King Panda for Luxury Cars Manila. Don't forget to subscribe.